Today we will be praying for our nation, the United States of America. We thank God for the freedom to worship we have in this nation and the blessings we have. We also focus on praying for all our leaders in government, the president, our state officials, and all those leading this nation. Our desire is to see the Lord, to bring salvation and spiritual healing across this nation, and for his name to be lifted up, and for our light to disperse in the darkness. We look at two scriptures today, and the first is found in 1 Timothy 2, verses 1 and 2. First of all, then I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and all who are in high positions, that we may lead a peaceful and quiet life, godly and dignified in every way. Our second scripture is 2 Chronicles 7, 14. If my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and heal their land. I would ask everybody at this time if you would just bow your heads with me in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We ask God that you would, as the word said in 2 Chronicles, heal our land. God, we are lifting up this nation. There is so much upheaval and turmoil going on and people are crying out for help. And God, this cry is a reminder to us that we have a savior and that the savior, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, he is the greatest intercessor. And Lord, we thank you for your son. And we call on the name of Jesus right now. And we hold to your word that says, if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and seek your face. God, we're seeking you right now. We're coming together in prayer. God, we thank you that you inhabit not only the praises of your people, but you inhabit the prayers of your people. And God, we are coming, joining every race, every creed, man, woman, and child. We all are your people called by your name. And we're asking God for you to move in the situations in this nation. And Lord, we would be always grateful, always honorable. For Lord God, you are worthy to be praised. God, we submit to your word. And your word says, if we have a care, then we should bring it to you in prayer. And God, we are praying today as a family unto our Father. And we thank you. And it's in the name of Jesus Christ we pray and say amen.